In this discussion, you can see a uh, date and data type field in brief. In case you missed previous video about uh, uh, date data type field, please check link is available in description. So, in previous video, uh, you can see this is a date field. So right now we will use a uh, date time field. Like uh, we just copy this one. like open date any name you can choose based on your uh, project and uh, specific model wise and here we have to use only is dot date time as a string you can use either string attribute or you can string attribute directly you can use like this uh, date time field will automatically recognize this is a label name Open date and this one I will copy and paste it here. Restart the service and upgrade the module. Please don't forget because we used uh, we changed in XML file as well as in Python file. Refresh the page. Here you can see this is established date and this is open date. You can see both uh, both field difference difference this difference between these two fields. After you can see this is uh, hour, then after minute, and then after seconds. Also, you can adjust from here like hour. This is hour plus minus then after this is minutes and this is the seconds also you can click here click here you can see uh, 2020 and you can also go to previous or next click here and you can click like this and ok button save the change and it will create one record so you can see this two two fields different this is a simple date and this is a date time now we will use some attribute supported by date date and time first one is a tooltip for that one you can use help command this is tooltip and select date save the file uh, save the changes restart the service no need to upgrade the module refresh the page and when you go to here in level name you can see this is 2t and select that and time now one more attribute is read only the data type support is a boolean either true or false by default it's a false when you use this attribute uh, it will read only from G, uh, from user side so user whenever trying to edit it won't be edit that field you can see this is editable but uh, i can't edit this one because this is read only Again the same one like uh, in case uh, that field is required or mandatory somehow written you can use required save the changes restart the service only service no need to upgrade the module refresh the browser and you can see the color also changed like this in case I remove this date and time and trying to save you can see here open that pop-up message appears so this is a mandatory field one more command is default command so default command will use whenever you are creating any new record that time default value appear so based on that you can use uh, default equal to 
date time dot now now means current date and time restart the service no need to upgrade module refresh the page and try to create you can see this is current date and time you can also use uh, you can also call directly one method and uh, data type should be either false none or it should be date and time when we change now we'll move to xml side and add the same attributes in xml side first we will remove from python side so you will have a better idea restart the service you can see here now it's a default one there is no any read only required or default fields so here you can see this is this coming from python attributes uh, string attribute you can also overwrite using xml side the same same attribute you can use here string override level here we don't need to restart the service but we need to upgrade so that's why i'm just using a terminal and applying minus u as upgrade and that module name once this will upgrade i will, must we must have to uh, refresh the browser so you can see it's override level it's changed now we will use also uh, as a read only equal to 1 upgrade the module refresh the page You can see here it's non editable field. Let's say we will uh, make it a mandatory field using required. Upgrade the module and refresh the page. So you can see here this is a mandatory field and I will try to save you can see these two fields is mandatory. One more command is invisible. Refresh the page and you can see it's invisible from here. So based on your conditions, you can use this one. That's it for now. In case you have any doubt, please comment below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in next video.